Williams? The former Georgia Bulldog? Hey, Bugs, Bugs Bunny, what do you think we should do? Should we get him? Of course not. What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Razzle Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So in this video, we're going to go over the two big topics or big topics, you know, quote unquote, that's going on with the Atlanta Falcons so far as surprisingly with football season right around the corner and preseason going on, there's actually not a lot of news for the Atlanta Falcons, but there is something to talk about. And we're going to talk about the Josh Rosen signing and the Javian Hawkins release. But let's go over Josh Rosen first. I first off want to point out that, oh my goodness, that last video I made about Blake Bortles was like the worst timing ever. Like I literally made that video as soon as the Josh Rosen signing happened. I was like, the Atlanta Falcons should think about bringing Blake Bortles in. And then, nope, the, the Falcons said, yeah, how about, no, we're gonna bring in Josh Rosen. Now I heard that they actually like tried to work out Blake Bortles, but anyway, let's get into Josh Rosen. And how do I feel about this signing is I feel nothing. Honestly, I feel nothing. I don't really feel anything about this. He's a backup. Um, he will never be a superstar, just saying. Uh, now, I actually like Josh Rosen coming out out of, you know, uh, what was it, UCLA, I think. I actually liked him coming out. And for a, like a long, long, long time, I actually was always kind of defending Josh Rosen in a way. I was like, okay, his first year as a rookie, he was playing with a Cardinals team that was like in full out rebuilt mode. Like they just had no chance. And then he played with the Dolphins in 2019 and they were in rebuilt mode. So the Dolphins kind of gave him no chance there. And so I was always kind of like defendant of Josh Rosen in a way. I was like, oh, come on. Like he's been on two rebuilding teams. Just let's see what he's like on a team that actually kind of gives them a bit of a chance here. But he's been on what? Four different NFL teams in his first five seasons or uh, some statistic like that uh like now i you know like he's been around the league for so many times he's bounced around all these teams and the amount of times he bounces around the league does kind of maybe tell you something about josh rosen maybe the work ethic isn't there maybe he just isn't great in the nfl maybe he's just a bust but um at the same time i don't think all hope is lost for josh rosen he could do some good things when he was in Miami and Arizona. Um, and, you know, I don't want to say the Atlanta Falcons are in Super Bowl contention or anything, but they are definitely in win-now mode. Like, they want to win the Super Bowl, at least with Matt Ryan, very soon. And I think at the very best, they can be a playoff team. So, who knows? Josh Rosen could get a legitimate chance here with Kyle Pitts and Calvin Ridley, Arthur Smith. I mean... Who's to say that the Atlanta Falcons in 2021 isn't a better opportunity for Josh Rosen than it was Arizona in 2018 and Miami 2019? I would say there's a better chance for Josh Rosen. And I like Felipe, Felipe Franks, but he's going to be QB3. I just, I know it. They're going to give the QB2 to the former first round pick. So Josh Rosen will be sitting behind Matt Ryan, one of the best to ever do it. He's going to be working with a lot of great receivers. Like I said, Calvin Ridley, Kyle Pitts, some good coaches. And the Falcons are trying to make at least the playoffs this year. So maybe if Josh Rosen is working with a, you know, let's be honest, a better team here. I'm not trying to insult any Cardinals, Dolphins, whatever team Josh Rosen was on. It's just... You know, the Falcons are probably a better team than the ones he's worked with, probably. I mean, if, if there's any other team that I'm missing besides Arizona and Miami, all I'm going to is, oh yeah, he worked with Tampa Bay, I guess. So uh, he's learned a little bit from there. So I guess he didn't always work with these bad rebuilding teams. But uh, anyway, you get the idea. Josh Rosen has a possible chance to succeed, but he just needs to put in the work ethic. Now, do I think he's going to be with us for a long time? No, I think at the very most, he'll be with us for two years, at the very least one year. That's just how I feel about Josh Rosen. I don't think he's going to be with us for that much longer. I think this was just kind of like a, an emergency pickup, but rooting for Josh Rosen, let's see if it works. 
Now, let's get into the Javian Hawkins release. Now, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really know a thing or two about, uh, there's a fly hanging around there. Uh, I didn't really know anything about JV and Hawkins, I'll be real with you. Um, but a lot of fans really liked him, and then he gets released. It was out of nowhere. Um, I didn't see that coming. I thought Arthur Smith was going to work with a lot of running backs like he did in Tennessee, and I thought he was going to use all these running backs. You know, the Falcons, either they really don't care about the running game, or they really feel confident about the running backs they have, because... They hardly addressed the running back position over the offseason, didn't they? Like, they picked up Mike Davis, you know, not this big name or anything, but they picked up Mike Davis, and I do like him. I think he's going to do good. And they kept Quadre Allison. They didn't draft a running back or anything. So, I don't know if they... Either they don't care about the running backs, or they are confident with the ones they're in, and they don't need JV and Hawkins. So, that was surprising, honestly. Um, but... Uh, at the, end of, at the end of the day, I would rather bring in more positional needs than a running back. Uh, the Falcons do need to run the ball a little better, but let's just be real. Running the ball is not the most important thing in the world, So, uh, but you still need it. Um, and I think maybe they see something in Quadre Olsen and Mike Davis. So guess we'll see what happens there. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys with a video this Tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support. The 3K special is coming up. We're working extremely hard on this project, and uh, I, I think you're going to be really happy with the result. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, stay tuned for that, and rise up.